Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Ryder here with another Power Rangers review of the Dino Rangers from RPM. Now these figures um, are American exclusive uh, Rangers that were based off of the Dino engines from Engine Sentai Golanger. Um, similar to the way Elephant, Bat, and Shark were adapted last year, these three were adapted um, into Rangers. I highly doubt they'll be appearing in the series. I'm not going to say for sure they won't because they might maybe surprise us in the end because I was expecting Elephant, Bat, and Shark to appear in the beginning of Jungle Fury um, if they would appear at all, but they appeared near the end. So I'm not going to throw out that they might not, but I'm, I'm doubting they will. But it's still nice that they threw us these three figures. Um, they were originally supposed to be part of the Spring Line, so the, these and then a few Battleized figures that are from the Spring Line are really the only you'll get from them, and then maybe the Cycles. I don't know whether they were going to do a power-up mode for them in the Fall Line originally and just scrapped it because of um, them having to push all the lines together, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go over one of the packaging. Um, because they're all three basically the same except for the name on the front. So let's do Mammoths. So it'll just say Mammoth Ranger, uh, T-Rex Ranger, Triceratops Ranger, and they'll come with a different sticker. This one comes with blue and red, um, red and yellow, and then green and black. So on the back, it shows all the Rangers that already come out. Well, not all of them, but these, and then these ones are with it. And then it also shows the weapon combinations that you can do with all of them. Okay, so that's about it for the packaging. Pretty standard RPM packaging. So let's start with the Mammoth Ranger. Here he is. He looks pretty nice. I like the design of him. I like the design of all these. I love the fact that they have the kind of train coat design. The symbol looks really nice. And then the train track motif is really nice that they kept that all in there. Overall, just a pretty nice figure design. I really like it. Um, Articulation-wise, standard uh, power range articulation. His arm has a wide range of motion. Bends at the elbow with just one joint and his hand swivels. And his legs have a decent range of motion. And that's something I should mention in a minute. And um, his knees bend. So pretty standard Power Rangers articulation. Um, his his head is built with a 360 joint, but it can't because of um, his tusks. So he can't really turn that much, which is kind of sh shitty. Um, and then they all come with go phones, so I presume that these guys tension with go phones. But um, they don't stay on very well. The other I didn't really have this problem with my other RPM figures, but these come off really easily. So I might just take him off, I'm not sure. But overall, really nice uh, really nice figure, I really like him. Um, and he also, he comes with a Montan gun in both modes, or Nitro Blaster, and he's, I left it in the packaging, and he also comes with a Mini Kalgeshi, which I also left in the packaging. And then his signature weapon, which I first thought was a blaster when I first saw the pictures, but now it appears to be some sort of strange boomerang weapon. Um, I don't, probably my least favorite of all three of the weapons, I don't really care for it. And then the best part, which is his engine cast, of um, like Kiss a Mammoth, sorry, I almost forgot the name. Um, which is really nice, they actually painted these on like Ranger Gold and Ranger Silver. So that's really nice. I just found Triceratops' go phone over here. Okay, so T-Rex, he looks really nice also. I really like the design of him. True to the color of uh, the T-Rex sword. Um, I'm not going to go over articulation again, because they're all pretty much the same articulation, except him and him can move his head. But the design is really nice, sticks with the same motif. Nice symbol right there. His face sculpt's really nice. I really like all the individual uh, helmet sculpts. It looks really nice. He can't turn all the way 360 because of these, uh, this collar, but he doesn't have tusks, so he can turn his head so you can at least get him looking in different directions. And there goes his GoFund. I'm just going to take it off. But overall, he's also a very nice figure, and I really enjoy him a lot. Um, one complaint I'm going to say about this, both this and the Triceratops, his legs are loose. I don't know what the hell is wrong with Bandai. Ever since the Jungle Masters, they're quality has gone down. I mean, sure, some of my older figures, like Space or Galaxy, have loose figure. I mean, uh, legs. But the Jungle Fury joints were really tight, like Fig Arts, and they just didn't get loose at all. Uh, the first Sound Furies. And then the Jungle Masters were loose, and my White and Gold Chasers were loose, and now... And the RPMs were fine. The original five of mine were fine. But then all of a sudden, these ones and everything else has been loose. I don't know what's wrong with them. Alright, so just like the other one, he comes with the Montan Gun, and his own little double blasters, which is kind of cool. Kind of has the train motif going on. And they don't look too bad. And then his GoFund obviously which keeps falling off. And his engine cast, which they didn't really have to paint because it's basically the same color. So that looks pretty nice. Okay, now for the Triceratops Ranger. Uh, I had a hard time finding him actually. I found these guys and then he was pretty elusive. Someone's going around buying all but... They just leave these two and that's it. So I finally found him yesterday. Um, he looks really nice. I, I almost want to say he's my favorite. I don't know what it is about him. I just really like the design and the horns and he just looks really cool. Um, same articulation as the other ones. His legs are really loose, most loose out of all of them. And um, and one thing I have noticed with these is they have quite a few paint mistakes. I don't know about anybody else, but like right here, 
it's kind of hard to see, but my it's really separated a paint between the 11 and 12 because it's not supposed to be separated, it's supposed to be touching. And then, like, these aren't so bad, but, like, some the other ones I picked up when I found these guys just to look at them, like, they had a lot of paint mistakes around the number area and some face dots. I don't know what it is about these guys that just seem to have more paint mistakes than the others. But overall, this guy's really nice, and I really like him. Um, the one thing I should say, though, is that the color of the um, T-Line is um, not this blue. It's not, like, this bright blue. And I kind of wish that they would have made him more accurate to the show. In terms of color, so we don't really have two, that much of two blue rangers. Same thing with two silver rangers, but I just wish they would have made his color more accurate. Now he comes with the Montan gun as well, as well as his weapon, which is probably my favorite of the three. It's kind of cool. It looks like a, like a modern day power lance, and it's not too bad. It looks nice in his hand. And then his engine cast, which is nicely painted, unlike gold and silver's. But I still wish that they would have painted it a more accurate color, but that's really no big deal. But so overall, I really like these figures. If you're a ranger fan and you love figures... Um, I, I mean, love figures. I mean, love Power Rangers figures, excuse me. But I, I highly recommend them. They're really cool. Even if they don't appear in the show, they're a nice little thing to have. But since they included them, I kind of wish they would have had a Carrigator and a Jumbo Whale Ranger just to have a full team. But I'm really glad they included them. So if you can find them, I recommend them. Um, 9 out of 10. Normally they'd be 10 out of 10 good Power Rangers figures, but I just don't like the fact that the joints are so loose. Um, but overall, they're really great figures. Um, I kind of like the mystique of them because I don't know about anybody else, but I always liked when I was little, when, when I would first see the new Power Rangers, they wouldn't have an identity yet, and they just kind of be these mysterious, cool heroes, and I kind of like that these guys don't really have a face, and just kind of, you know, don't ruin the characters for you, I don't know, it's just a weird thing I have, but overall, good figures, I highly recommend them, hopefully my next Power Rangers review will be the Chasers, so until my next review, this is Dawson Ryder, signing out.